So what is Christmas time like in the Smokies? In today's video, we will explore some of the top attractions and look at the top five must-sees and do's when visiting during Christmas in the Smoky Mountains. Welcome to Bear Facts, where we explore the Smoky Mountains one bear fact at a time. So this video is gonna be more opinion than facts. There are so many things to see and do in the Smoky Mountains during the holidays that you really can't give a top five without offending someone. So my list is going to include the places and things that decorate the most and offer people the most holiday cheer. And even though Santa loves chimneys, I won't be bringing up chimney tops or any of the other trails and places to see in the actual Smoky Mountain National Park. And though they are lovely places to visit year round, no one decorates in the mountains, so we'll leave them out of the top five. Another thing I'll point out is before I start, these will not be in any kind of order. I'm talking about the attractions in a completely random order, except for the number one spot. I did leave that one for last for a reason. Number five, the island. The island is a good place to stop for some for that non-stop cheer. This popular attraction is right off of US 441, and if you've never been there, the giant Ferris wheel will help guide you. We would suggest making it a nighttime visit, but even during the day, you'll find the place decorated with all kinds of giant sculptures, wreaths, and bulbs dangling about. Each of the different shops put in extra work to add to the festive ambience. Of course, if you decide to hit up the old Smoky Moonshine Barn, they also make it easy to get into the holiday mood, though the copious amounts of alcohol you can sample will probably help some. Paula Deans also makes a good show. The shop below is packed with Christmas themed items you can wear or cook with. And though their menu doesn't change much for the holidays, you can still get that good old Southern dining experience with a plate of their famous fried chicken or sweet ribs with a side of mac and cheese and sweet potato casserole. Of course, there are other things on the menu, but those are kind of my favorites. But one of my favorite things to do at the island is to wait for dark and watch the light show. The island puts on their own Christmas water music and light show at the fountains. There are rocking chairs scattered around the fountain for guests to sit and watch as the fountains and lights dance to the sound of classic Christmas tunes. One of the best parts of the island is that there is no cost for parking or admission. Number four, the river walk by the island. Winterfest Lights on the Riverwalk Greenway is a free winter display of lights that is put on by the city of Pigeon Forge that follows the scenic West Prong Little Pigeon River. The trail can be picked up at the parking lot at the island or at Patriot Park by the Old Forge Mill District. The trail is about one and a half miles one way and has many, many lights and fun things to see. This $1.5 million investment is enjoyed by many people and is free for all guests. Not only is admission free, but so is parking. You can leave your vehicle at either the island or the Patriot Park. The lights are turned on by mid-November and stay lit until February. So even if you miss the Christmas season, you could still catch the lights long after. The town has so many lights to put up, they actually start putting them up by the middle of October. The city sends out crews with miles and miles of lighting to put up along the river walk. The displays include giant flowers, cute animals, and canopies of lights that visitors can walk through and under. The river walk is completely handicap accessible and is well-maintained path. The only downside is that if you want to see the entire show of lights, you need to walk back the 1.5 miles to your car. And when it gets chilly, that can be uncomfortable. Unfortunately, the public trolley system stops operating after 5 p.m. in the winter. So unless you call a share lift, you will need to huff it back yourself. You can access public bathrooms at either the island or at the trolley station. But if you plan things just right and want to enjoy the next thing on the list, start at the island and walk to the old Forge District and hop on to US 441 to walk back to the island. This way, you get to see more. Number three is Route 441 in Pigeon Forge. There's no doubt in my mind that the electric bill in Pigeon Forge has to rival that of New York City during Christmas. Pigeon Forge puts out all the stops when it comes to holidays, especially Christmas. The entire city of Pigeon Forge is like one giant Christmas tree. Everywhere you look glows and shines. 
but nowhere shines more than US 441. As you're cruising down 441, many buildings, including Dollywood Stampede, are glowing with festive cheer. Almost all the businesses cram as many lights as possible, including the Christmas Place, one of the largest Christmas shops in the South, as well as many amazing restaurants and other establishments who light it up for the guests in the Smoky Mountains. This is a must-see for those who enjoy Christmas and want to be overwhelmed with cheer. One area to pay attention to is the middle divider along the parkway. The city decorates the center medium all the way down the parkway with the 12 days of Christmas. When you reach Pigeon Forge from Gatlinburg, you'll be delighted to see this popular Christmas classic played out in colorful lighted scenes. It's a tradition for many to try and recall the 12 days of Christmas before you get to the next display and see who can remember which one goes next. And even though it's only a few short miles, you'll have plenty of time to recall each scene as the traffic on 441 during the owl holidays can be less than festive feeling. Pigeon Forge actually used to have a trolley that would take guests to all the highlights, but now offers a winter festive driving lights map. I left a link in the description to the map. Following the map is a great family-friendly activity that you can do to get into the holiday spirit, and all it will cost is the gas in your tank, which can be expensive at times. Though you could walk the entire trail, it is a long walk, so driving is going to suit the average person just fine. Number two, Gatlinburg 321 and 441. Okay, the, that's a pretty large area to cover, but let's just say that all of Gatlinburg is really amazing to see. But let me help by breaking it down a little for you. Though nights are when you truly appreciate the time and effort put into the area, there's still a ton to do and see in the daytime. You can still enjoy the sights during the day and enjoy a rich assortment of activities, dining, and experiences before the night show begins. During the day, you can start by looking for all the snow people hidden throughout the Gatlinburg area. Many people are entertained by these quirky life-size sculptures. During the day, you can search around for the over 100 life-size snow people scattered about the Gatlinburg area. You can find these whimsical snow people on benches, standing in front of different businesses, and even imitating fellow visitors. There are many other businesses that are just as fun during the day as night. Uber Gatlinburg allows you to take an air tram to the top of their mountain resort where you can enjoy a wide range of activities from snow tubing, mountain coasters, ice skating to skiing. Skylift offers amazing views of the surrounding areas. Ripley's Aquarium will give you a break from the chill as you wander about their aquatic depths and many of the miniature golf courses will stay open for parts of the winter. Perhaps one of the biggest growing attractions in Gatlinburg is Anakista. This mountainside attraction has it all, from dining, great aerial views from their chairlifts and comfortable observation stations, to mountain coasters, zip lining, tree bridges, and so much more. Anakista is also known for their amazing day and nighttime decorations. They put in a lot of attention to their appearance from landscaping to cleanliness. This place is very impressive, not only with what they offer with food, drink, entertainment, and family activities, but also in friendly staff and clean grounds. For those of you who want the best chance for a bear sighting, Anakista, whether they want them or not, have a super high bear population. If you head up there in the evenings, your chance of spotting the cute pesky scavengers is very high. Of course, if you hang out long enough, Gatlinburg will put on an amazing light show for everyone to see. Their nighttime lights are quite a thing to see, from giant trees with shimmering icicles to colorful moving bare lights. There is a ton to see and just enjoy. Almost all the local businesses add to the color and lights by adding their own spin on the Yuletide decor. Gatlinburg is truly an amazing place to visit during the holidays. Number one will be the most expensive, busiest, and popular on my list, and it's the one I held on to last, as it's also one of the favorites for many people. But if you haven't already guessed, here it is. The number one place to get the most Christmas lights, food, theming, and experience is Dollywood. I've been to many different Christmas-themed attractions over the years, from Hershey, PA, to Disney Orlando, 
And I really feel that Dollywood is a step above the rest. From the amazing light displays, to the hot foods, to the live entertainment, Dollywood has made an art form of Christmas entertainment. From the minute you enter the park, you will be overwhelmed with options, whether you want to find amazing hot fresh desserts or foods, or are looking for a thrill ride to leave you wishing you hadn't eaten that last hot dripping cinnamon bread piece, Dollywood has it. But Christmas is the time they shine the most. And I'm not just saying this metaphorically, they really are shining with millions of lights strewn about. Whether you walk about the gently sloping hills and walkways or ride on the steam-driven coal train over the back hills, there are many ways to enjoy all the colorful displays. But not only are there breathtaking displays of blue shimmering lights dripping from the sky and buildings decorated like gingerbread houses lined with lights like icing, but Dollywood also has a new drone light show and other live entertainment this year. So if Dollywood is in your budget, it's one of the best places that the Smokies has to offer with all the cheer and spirit of the holidays. But make sure you do look up their pricing. They aren't as bad as Disney, but with parking fees, food, drinks, and admission, a family of four can get pretty expensive. Is it worth the cost? I really feel it's worth the experience at least once. The time and effort and cost put into decorating every year is clear to see in the details and overall experience. What I appreciate the most about Dollywood is they don't, they don't shy away from the religious significance of Christmas. It's a Christian holiday and Dollywood makes it clear that though everyone and anyone is welcomed and Santa is definitely on that list, the songs and stories of the Bible are up front and center. And I'm not trying to make any statement about religion, just that Dollywood is willing to stand up to their principles and not be afraid to offend guests who may not share the same beliefs. There is no doubt that the Smoked Mountain area offers one of the most unique holiday experiences in the country. Every year brings something new. There are tons of holiday shows and other events, restaurants, and venues to pick from. It is that reason that the area has become so popular. The only downside to this is that as you get closer to Christmas, the crowds and masses of people keep growing. The absolute insanely busiest time to actually go to the Smoky Mountains is between Christmas and New Year's. The locals actually dub it Hell Week. So if you plan on visiting and having the option to come before Christmas, I would suggest you consider this instead. The last thing I'll bring up is to remind people that the Smoky Mountains might be a southern state, but they do get snow and bad weather. Just a few years ago, the area had an, a small snowstorm that left a few inches of snow, but that snow crippled the area, leaving tourists and guests trapped in their beautiful mountainside cabin for days. And even if you aren't trapped, the chances of having the mountain's roads closed is very, very high with just a few inches of that beautiful white snow. So though it might be amazing to see, keep it off your wish list unless you enjoy getting stuck in it. So on that note, I hope you've enjoyed this video and maybe we'll have a chance to see and experience the Smoky Mountains in person someday. Please help us out by clicking that like button and subscribing to our channel.